Hi, I'm Mike Heisey. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon with Texas Back Institute. And I'm currently president of Texas Back Institute. So Peyton Manning's recovery after his last spine surgery has been great. Uh, he's obviously able to throw the ball well. Maybe he doesn't have all of his strength back, but he is certainly able to throw the ball with good control, knows what he's doing, and he's able to compensate for any weakness that he might have left. I think he still does probably have a little bit of weakness, but he's been able to do very well with that. It's difficult to recover from a nerve injury, and it's very unpredictable, so he's done very well. But for an athlete, it's, it's very frustrating. They have to go through a lot of phases of, of, first of all, recovering from the pain that caused him to need the surgery, but then after the pain gets better, the last thing that gets better is the, the numbness and the muscle strength. So he had to spend some time learning even where his arm was in space to know how to throw and then ultimately how to control his throws and, and learn it a little differently than he learned it originally. He's a, he's a smart enough guy and a, and a dedicated enough athlete that he was able to do that. But all of our athletes have the same challenges when they have a nerve injury. If the nerve is compressed, it sometimes doesn't come back right away. And the quicker you address it, the quicker it comes back. But sometimes addressing it quicker is surgery and I, I think a lot of people are trying to avoid surgery. Many of my patients face the same challenges that, that Peyton faced. Um, the recovery of the nerve function, the recovery of the strength, and his recovery has been good, but not unusual. We do have a lot of patients that get good recovery. Even patients with spinal cord compression can get significant recovery as long as the cord hasn't been permanently damaged. Uh, all of my patients face those challenges and, and hopefully most of them recover as well as Peyton did. As recently as yesterday, I've seen a couple patients with similar symptoms. It's a very common problem. Anterior cervical fusions are the, the final operation that Peyton Manning had is done 300,000 times a year in the US. So it's a very common operation for a very common problem and a very disabling problem. Fortunately, we have that anterior cervical fusion and now even artificial discs that are an option for treating that problem and getting it better, even faster. Patients will come with a cervical disc herniation. They'll have pain in their arms, they'll have weakness, and I will try to lead them towards non-surgical care first as a first alternative. If they have a problem that's an emergency, like a spinal cord compression, like weakness that's worsening, like problems with bowel or bladder function, or sometimes pain they can't control, then they may need surgery earlier. But most patients aren't in that category. Most can get better without surgery. So we would have them try injections, physical therapy, chiropractic care, uh, medications, sometimes traction, those sorts of things. If those fail, then it may be that the patient will choose to have surgery. And now we have real good alternatives for surgery, we can do an anterior cervical fusion, sometimes a posterior foraminotomy, and an artificial disc is the newest thing that's available, which is a very good option with a very quick recovery. Prediction. Uh, my prediction is different than who I'm rooting for. I'm actually rooting for Peyton Manning. I'm a big fan of his along, all, along the ways. I am not a Cam Newton hater by any means. I love, love him, I love watching him play. I think they're probably the stronger overall team, but I'm gonna root for Peyton Manning. Uh, thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to see any of the other videos we've recorded about Peyton Manning, you can click on this button right here.